I'm going to make a little mini casserole. A mini cheesy beefy pasta casserole thing. Um, this is a, this is a leftover addition because I only have a small thing of Kobe Jack cheese. And Anthony, Mr. Strange, right here, ate the spaghetti sauce. He does that. He, he slurps it. Yeah. So, you know, you know. <laughs> I told him not to do it, but he did it anyway. Uh -huh. Anyways, so there's that. And then he's dividing the ground meat because he got a three pound bag. He's dividing that into one pound so that way. One pound each, that way we can refreeze it separately and not have to worry about it later. And then half the thing of uh, shell pasta. And I'm going to make a little mini casserole on this little bread dish because, um, yeah, I'll probably eat the whole thing by myself. <laughs> there won't be anything left for them, but I'm just making small portions tonight for, for us. Because I tend to make a lot of food. For three people, I make enough for like eight. And I love leftovers. Leftovers are awesome. But anyway, this is all I'm going to make today because I don't have enough cheese and I don't have enough of this. So I have to kind of portion that. Ooh, alrighty then. I'll show you guys what it looks like later. It's awesome. And it's actually a tutorial made by our uh, friend's mom. She started a YouTube channel like a long time ago and she has three cooking videos and they're really awesome. So you guys, I'll put the link down below. You guys got to check out her channel. Hopefully, um, with more people watching, she would... Uh, be inspired to make more videos. So yeah, yay! Dang. Pardon my one-handed, not so great camera skills right now. <laughs> Next, macaroni. And a little bit more sauce. And then cheese. She used Monterey Jack, I think, on her video, but Colby Jack is the only thing I have, and that works all right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mmm, I'm excited. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. I'm so excited about this. Really, really excited. I'm just going to use the same plate that I used the cheese with because less dishes. <laughs> Yummy. Amazing. Oh, it's steamy and hot, and I'm gonna spill it all over the place. Ah! Oh my god. You guys probably hate me very much right now. And I understand. I would probably hate myself while I'm um, editing this vlog because I'll be hungry, and I guarantee this would not be around anymore. Someone requested that you play more music because they couldn't hear it the other time. A little bit of an awkward uh, situation here. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we roll. making a song for me for my cooking, <laughs> cooking videos. <laughs> Here's our cockroach.
Get away! Let's get away! I'm walking. Mm. What are you following me for? I don't like cockroaches or spiders or bugs. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> Don't move. Stay still. <gasps> oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Almost. One more. Two more, I mean. You are free. Yay. We're going to Walmart. Walmart. I guess you guys love my ranting after all. <laughs> um, from the video on the last vlog or yesterday, depending on when this will be uploaded, somebody asked um, if we plan on moving after we have the baby or before we have another baby. Uh, and originally I really wanted to move first before having another baby because it's, it's a small apartment that we live in. But that's not really that easy right now and I had to kind of weigh the options. I don't really want to wait that long to have another baby because we kind of want a bigger family and I don't know, we, we, we make our space work. So okay. if if we have the chance to move, that would be super awesome. Uh, but I don't see it happening in the next two years or something. Uh, it's just... Let's turn off the car. But yeah, I uh, had to turn the car off so we could pump the gas, not explode or anything. <laughs> so yeah, we would really like to move uh, if possible. And actually we're talking, I don't know how serious this is gonna be. It's just kind of like, hey, we should do this. But we would really like to move to a state that it's colder. I, I can't stand the heat in California anymore. And we like rain and we like the fogginess and we like dark clouds and we like the cold. We're just not meant for California. <laughs> it would be awesome if we could move somewhere like in Washington or something. Somewhere cold in Seattle. That would be really awesome because it rains there. Or even Idaho. Um, it looks really beautiful over there. <laughs> so yeah. I love it. Anthony wrestled with about 50 shopping carts before he found one that worked okay. And it doesn't even have a seat buckle. Nyeh, nyeh. Lazy dinner tonight. Rotisserie chicken. Some berries too. And you guys are blurry. Sorry. Blurry. Toilet paper out. I don't use any of that. <laughs> Bugs is already eating the grapes. Do you want some more grapes? I think you still have stuff in your mouth. You do. Are you hiding food in your mouth? <gasps> Sneaky girl. I forget that I have lipstick and I kiss her. I'm like, oh my god, what's in her face? She got a cut, she got a something. Oh, no strap. <laughs> no strap, no strap, and she wants to get up. Uh-oh. I have a new baby. A dozen of them. I'm gonna cradle it carefully. Ah! Look guys. Fluffy, fluffy, perfect rice. Mmm. I have a tutorial on this if you guys want to learn how to do it without a rice cooker. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I'm using a pot. Pot specifically made for rice. I got this from the Philippines. My mom sent it over. So, yay! It's awesome. I just use it for rice. We never use a rice cooker. We have one rice cooker and it's really big. And it's just the three of us eating rice. And for the longest time it was just the two of us. So. It's too much rice gets wasted and I forget about it when it's in the rice cooker and then I don't realize that there's rice inside and it gets yucky and moldy and you guys probably foggy. I'm sorry. I just realized that. There, it's better. Alrighty then. So rice. Rice with every meal, cuz Filipino. <laughs> oh, careful, careful. Oh, she keeps laying down. Come here. Look at her. Look at her. You gonna bend? I'm looking. Hi, comfy girl. Oh, you gonna blend?
blanket on the floor. Yeah. Are you comfy, girl? <laughs> He's so comfy. Yeah. Guys have progress on the octopus tattoo. I have like a million different different sketches for it. This is another variation. Um, I just cannot place this properly. Like it's so awkward all the time, and I'm really not happy with it. So decided to put a chef's hat on him instead. And then um, I forgot that one of the lists that I've been wanting to put on there for a long time is a Pepsi bottle. Pie. Yeah, Pepsi bottle. Um, <laughs> I love Pepsi so much. I'm gonna have it tattooed on me. So that's another variation for it. And I really like the way this is turning out. I'm just, I realized that some of the tentacles are kind of weird. So Anthony's been helping me out. He scanned this first one that I made. And then he made a couple of different kinds of um, tentacle placements, which I will try to show you right now. Have a, he scanned it and he kind of just manipulated the tentacles so that they're all facing different directions and kind of spread out more. Um, like I said, it's not really a, a traditional chess piece looking thing. Um, it's kind of, you know, not symmetrical, but kind of weird. So I'm trying to figure out how to place it. So, the head will probably be around here, probably lower if possible, because I don't actually want it on my neck. But yeah, the placements be around there, and the rest of them right here. So, I'm really excited. Like, this is how I envision it to be. So, yeah. Ta-da! Although it would really, really look like an awesome arm piece too. But, like I said, I really wanted this to be a chest piece. This this is something I've been like thinking about for a long time, so. But if it were to be an arm piece, it would be really difficult. It would look like this. It would be a good, nice, almost three-quarter sleeves. Be nice too, but I really want it to be a chess piece. So I'm trying to work on that. But yeah, I really, really appreciate your feedback on this, guys. Um, in the last vlog, you guys are really like more interactive, and I really, really like it. I love reading your comments. I love seeing like like reading your stories or anything like that. It's very fun. Hi there. She doesn't know there's a bow on her head. Well, she forgot. Hopefully, she'll continue forgetting it's there. Let's see what she looks like when we get to my mom's house. I'm gonna do laundry again, as usual, and Anthony is gonna go take my sisters to the DMV so they can take their driving tests, which I still haven't done. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be 20. How old am I gonna be? I forgot. I always forget. I just got used to being 25. And I realize I'm gonna be 28 pretty soon. Um, yeah, yikes. <laughs> I don't feel old, it's just weird. I just got used to being a certain age and ta-da, I'm three years older than I think I am. <laughs> it's, uh, it's gonna be interesting. Anthony will be 29 in, let's see, what's today? Today is the second? Yeah, today is October 2nd, and Anthony will be 29 in three days. So his birthday is October 5th, and it's going to be exciting. He's going to be 30 pretty soon, and so will I. Whew, interesting. Yeah, he had to go back because, of course, I forgot something in the house again. And there he is, getting it. Me, 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 the printer, which is broken. And hopefully they will fix it for us. It's still on her head, yay! Oh. I'm spinning. I want to spin my own yarn. I'm 
really cool if I could do that. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I've finally reached the end. Oh, usually you just plop the skein of yarn right on it, but that one was really messed up already, so I had to do it. And I'm working on something new. It is Yay, an anatomical heart plushie, and I'm really excited. I'm just kind of winging it because I don't know, I've never made one before, so I'm just making the general kind of shape. Started out with a, like a strawberry because you start out with a strawberry plush, and then I'm just extending it, just messing, playing around. Hopefully, I get it right. It'd be really cool to make these, and then later on, I'd like to make bigger ones, bigger, bigger ones that could be like a like a pillow on your couch, like an anatomical plushy pillow. It'd be fun. Got my heart stuffed. Bye. Ta-da! I don't know if I like the size, but we'll see when the when the arteries are in there. Woohoo! I smell poop, poop, poops. I smell poop, poop, poops. Mmm, stinky butt. Double. You poops. What? Okay. She's busy. <laughs> Good morning. Right. So that is an anatomical heart. And this is what I have so far. So I have this area done right here, and I'm gonna work on this part now. And I figured I should change, um, change color. And this is the only thing really I have close to being able to change color. Of course, none of these are going to be accurate in color and stuff, but I think it's a fun illustration if I use this to do this part of the heart. I'm sorry, I'm not really familiar with the actual names. I know there are different chambers in the heart and the arteries and stuff. Ta-da! So far, so good. I got this done. This, this, and this. Oh, wrong hand. Let's switch hands. There we go. Ta-da! What I got so far? Oh, wait. Barney, be quiet for a sec. Thank you. So, I got this part done. My finger. Ta-da! Excited. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. Can you say please? I, I paused your show. Can you say please? Thank you. See, it's much better if you say please, huh? Ta -da. So, thank you, mommy. Like this, like this. Thank you. <laughs> Close enough. Banana tastes good. She loves the bones intro. <laughs> That's one way to eat a banana. <laughs> Ta-da! I'm not finished yet. Almost done. But this is what I have so far. Woohoo! Yay! I'm really proud of this, babe. Me too. That's looking amazing. I'm amazed. <laughs> I'm still gonna That's add more so veinies, cool. like in red, because there's supposed to be some more. Yeah. And this another tube will come yeah, up down yeah. here. It's freaking awesome. Yay! That's so cool. It looks cool from all angles. Yeah, I'm trying That's to make so it cool. look good on every angle. Awesome. <laughs> I pour my heart out for you guys every day. Yeah. See, my beating heart. Look, babe. I pour my heart out for them. <laughs> all the time. This is how it is. With the YouTubes. It's just... <laughs> anyway, I want to say goodnight because I don't think I've said goodnight yet. And... <laughs> I realized that our last vlog ended abruptly. I don't know, I guess I got too excited about it and I forgot to put the bye bye part. So, <laughs> and I didn't even catch it while I was editing. I don't know, I was probably doing a lot of stuff. But anyway, thank you for watching this vlog, guys. Hope you guys are doing good. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really, really helps us a lot. Also, we make a really cool different kinds of videos. We have vlogs and tutorials and the baby's messing up so I'm kind of distracted yeah. <laughs> and tag videos and reviews and unboxing stuff hauls that kind of thing so if you are interested please subscribe also I show you guys some of the little thingy things I have oh yeah 
pause this. We are. We do. Anyway, uh, say good night. Say bye bye. Uh, ooh. Say bye bye. Oh, uh, bye bye. She wants to sing. Anyway, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.